YouTube, what's the deal? It's your boy J Real. And I am back. We back right now. We're alive. We're breathing. That's all that matters. That's all that should matter. You're alive. You're breathing. God is good. You know? Anyway, it's been a while since I've been here, right? Um, a lot of stuff's been happening in life, you know? Ups, downs, left, rights, uppercut, left uppercut, jab, jab, elbow, elbow, for all the MMA people out there. I'll be tapping into UFC a little bit here and there. Not like I used to, but, you know. I don't know, a lot of the stuff I used to tap into frequently, like sports, all that entertainment stuff, it's like, <clears throat> it's enjoyable, but like too much of it, then I get to thinking, I'm like, how is this going to benefit me? How is this going to benefit my life? You know, it's cool to enjoy things here and there, but once you're like consumed by it and you're like obsessed over it and your moods are changing based on the teams that you're rooting for if they lose if they win um whatever happens people get injured things like that it's like how are you gonna let something outside of what you can control like affect how you feel right and essentially that doesn't even matter and you know you could go on and on about how like stuff is rigged and things like that i mean at the end of the day like all that stuff is entertainment purposes so who knows what goes behind goes on behind closed doors but for me it's just like i was so like tapped into that stuff for a long time and i was like anticipating i'm a packer fan from wisconsin so anticipating packer games things like that and uh, i was so hyped when they were losing my I'd get pissed mood would change throughout the seconds you know, so, but now it's like, I just want to be better every day. That's what I'm striving for. Obviously, not every day is easy, like recently, but um, I think it's the thought and, you know, the intention behind what you're trying to do is what matters most, you know, and I honestly don't even know I'm going to title this video. I just jumped on here because there's a lot of stuff going on for me personally and i just kind of need to you know speak some sort of wisdom that i'm kind of taking in from the situation i'm going through which is just abruptly getting up and moving um kind of crazy it was within a couple of days ago that i found out i was gonna be moving again uh, very abrupt, just a lot of unfortunate circumstances that have occurred. Um, but I think just having a perspective on watching things kind of fall apart. Um, God's just trying to rebuild what you deserve and what you believe you deserve. And I think that's the key is believing what you deserve because I know there's things that happen and your life, my life that I truly believe that I don't deserve. And when those things do happen, it's like, I don't deserve this. So I know this isn't happening because I believe I deserve this. It's simply happening because it's setting me up for something that I do deserve. Um, perception and perspective, they're a little different, but that's the key to like getting what you want in life and living the life that you desire perception is more of in my definition i would say it's more of like how perception I'm trying to think because perception and perspective get really twisted perspectives like how you see things like what's happening in front of you how you're looking at it um, perception is more of, in my terms, I don't even know. Perception, perspective, perception. I feel like I have to say it to like understand it better. I don't know if you guys are like that. Um, perception. I would just say perception is like.
how you receive something that is said to you or thrown at you. That's more perception, whereas perspective is like something that's happening, how you're seeing that happen. Rather, whereas perception is something that something that gets thrown at you or someone that says something at you, that's how you're perceiving it. If that makes sense. I guess that's I hope I I hope that's a you know third grade version that you guys understand because I understand it in my head a little bit but it's still a little confusing um anyway uh but yeah I just think those two things are key in life into you know being able to withstand some of the things you go through because a lot of people let stuff get to them and I don't necessarily and just like through the years and you know going through ups and downs it's it really hit me kind of honestly kind of now it's just like life doesn't necessarily get easier things don't get easier i think you just get stronger mentally physically to withstand the things that are happening to you um but life doesn't even happen to you it happens for you so a lot of the things that you do go through it's happening for you and what you want because honestly god doesn't give you those visions you have for your future those things you have in your heart as far as like i want this i want this type of life like this all that type of stuff like god puts that in your heart for a reason um and i think he kind of just steers you he steers you along the way um to get there and now we do have free will so we do make our own decisions on that path and sometimes they're not the best decisions but in the long run you are eventually gonna get to where you want to be as long as you're doing the things that align with it and obviously not everyone's perfect we all have those days where we slip up and you know do the things we're not supposed to do but I think if you have in your heart, on your mind, and you know, like, you're turning things down because that's not who you are and that's not what you see your future like, or you're doing things because you actually enjoy to do it and you see you, you see your higher self and you see yourself in the future doing that, those are the things that are going to get you to where you want to be. Um, and just because you're taking away something doesn't mean you're not going forward. Um, I feel like a lot of improving yourself is getting rid of things that you've learned and that you've been conditioned from growing up and unlearning those things and then reprogramming yourself with what you want to be, how you want to be, how you want to talk, how you want to walk, how you want to dress, how you want to flex, whatever it is, you know? So, yeah, I don't know. I just jumped on here, a little quick 10 minute video. Well, it's 8.30 now, but it'll probably be 10 by the time I'm done here. But yeah, I just wanna jump on here, just connect back with you guys. I do wanna start posting these more. Um, it's, like a, it's, it's just like therapy in a way. And I know a lot of people can relate. I know we always sometimes feel like we're the only people going through certain situations, but if you speak out on the things you're going through and people will understand it, people will comprehend what you're saying and they'll, they can relate. And uh, the people that can relate, they're gonna stick with you through everything. You know, they're gonna relate to you. They're gonna, they're gonna essentially fuck with you for you. Excuse my language. I am trying to stop swearing, but sometimes it just, sometimes you just have to, cause it adds that oomph to like what you're trying to say. You get me? you get me jeez <laughs> um anyway uh but yeah so that's that um everyone just whatever you're going through keep your head up have a good perspective on it if you don't have a good perspective on it find something good in the bad so just one at least one thing just find something good that's happening even if it is bad. That'll give you at least, you know, a sliver of like, okay, some hope, some happiness. 
Maybe it'll make you laugh. Who knows? But, but yeah, so, um, I hope everyone has a blessed day. I hope everyone stays blessed. Don't stress. Otherwise, you'll become a mess. All right, I'm not a rapper, but who knows? Maybe I could be one, but I don't really care to be one, so probably won't be. Um, anyway, that's that for the video. I love y'all. Stay blessed. And as always, keep grinding. Peace.